a quick educational template whole video for you targeting the valley template so what is the valley template well it's a cb mcdonald template or seth rayner i mean they teamed up together to build these templates so let's talk about the exact construction and the fundamentals for the valley hole well, the original one sits there at the National Links of Golf. As the title suggests, generally speaking, it involves a downhill valley that you would hit to and then back up to the green. Typically, this hole is notorious for having one of the most extreme greens at the club. And a typical ideal approach would be requiring to drive the fairway bunker sometimes it's visible sometimes not along the left side of the fairway will give you the ideal look at the green but it's also a challenging risky shot the less risky shot off the tee would be to go right on these valley holes but you must end up short and right center be careful to hit it into the bunker at some of those design template holes at these courses now the backing hump prevents the player from actually seeing the approaching target and not being able to see the green is problematic clear cut example of a template valley hole would be the first hole at the american golf links another valley golf template that follows the same principles but a little different would be the mid-ocean club number Eight. but these principles are a little bit different a rewarding carry on the right hand side of the hill will offer a attractive look to the green while going safer a drive on the left would require a pro shot over greenside bunkers so these are considered valley holes but they were overseen by seth raynor outside of cb mcdonald it was a team but nonetheless he had a different approach to his valley so valleys it come in all different shapes and sizes but the fundamentals still sit there today where you would end up hitting to a valley downhill a little bit and then your second approach shot would be an uphill shot towards the green so you're really name comes from hitting into that second approach shot the valley another great example would be the national golf links as mentioned earlier in the video which was the first hole there where the valley is drivable for modern technology you could just eliminate it right at 330 yards but back then you had to hit into that valley in that second approach shot uphill running into some concerns is the definition of the green of the valley it needs to be aggressive so when you look at the 13th hole at the country club of charleston which was designed by seth raynor you question if it's considered a valley it has all the fundamentals for some golf analysts agree that the green really is not risen high enough to satisfy the valley requirement that might be because the original template hole the national golf links hole the number one if it was 330 yards it was so important to have a challenging green and he was noted for poorly struck putts will fall off the edge of the green potentially into the bunker on the right hand side Less, keep a look out on your scorecard when you're playing golf for the valley hole a lot of new golf courses or at least updated golf courses are putting those on the scorecard the name of the hole and i think it's important because these template holes are going to be getting a little bit more popular as time goes on it's going to do it for our one video we have done each and every one of those template holes so just write down in the search button which one you're looking for and type in professor and you'll end up fine it's going to do a look keep a look out for more videos to come this is the professor